welcome back. This is, I think, the very last main project that I have to do before the reveal. Oh, I'm so excited. So this project, we are going to address this wall, which has been just blank this entire time. I'm not going to lie, I've been procrastinating this because this is kind of a big project. Uh, so I decided to do literally every other thing in the shed before I got to this wall. <laughs> so it's time to stop procrastinating. Uh, we just got to get it done. So we are actually going to paint a mural on this wall. So major nerd moment. A while back I was playing Red Dead Redemption 2. There's a certain mission that you, uh, but in the mansion there is a gorgeous pastoral scene. Here you go. I loved looking at this so much that I stopped and took a bunch of screenshots as I was, um, learning down the mansion as, you know, one would do in a video game and uh, decided I want to do this, but obviously we got to make it spooky. <laughs> Basically create my own image and I would like to paint it on this wall. So it's sort of like every single wall in the shed has its own kind of identity. And this one shall be a mural. Wow. So the plan is today we are going to try to at least draw like outline and where everything is going to go today. We'll see how far we get today, but you know, it's going to be kind of a couple of days to get this done. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing really else to do except for just to get started. Let's get going. So uh, I got most of the sky done. I got a little bit of the edge done, which is mostly just, you know, tree outlines. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, call it and I will see you guys tomorrow. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, oh, that, like that. oh my gosh. <laughs> So, uh, new day. Just gonna get started on some painting today, uh, and hopefully we can get it done. So let's keep going!
All right, so we got it painted. Now we just need to add all the purdies that you always see in pastoral paintings. Got these off of Amazon. As you can see, they're very, um, well, these guys are a little unsettling, uh, but you know, they're, they're the kinds of stuff you can get, you know, off the shelf. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do to these what I did to my applique, take it down to gray, maybe hit it with a little bit of gold highlight, and I think they'll fit much better with that painting. The same for here. I've got this border, these two different types of border. They're both flexible, but I got them both on Amazon and I think they'll do really well, but they're the wrong color. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. So uh, let's go make them spooky. the mural is done I finally got this wall done <laughs> and uh, I think it looks great I mean it's exactly what I wanted I wanted a more simpler wall that isn't just covered in um, well you'll see next time <laughs> so it's this beautiful kind of spooky pastoral scene with my own little graveyard my own ruins my own little mist my own creepy birds my own little cherubs that still weird me out Ugh. but I love the way it came out I think it really fits with this space incredibly well. And I also have this wonderful love seat here that my mother so graciously donated to the boo shed. Now I have a cool place to sit and uh, do things that aren't necessarily craft related. I could come out and actually just read or just watch YouTube or, you know, doesn't just have to be a crafting space. Also could just be a batty crystal space. Okay, right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me paint this spooky mural. Um, you never know when inspiration is gonna hit you. And uh, you just gotta roll with it sometimes. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you wanna stick around, you can subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video, which is the actual reveal of the entire boo shed, which has been months and months and months coming. So I am very, 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 very excited to finally show it with, to you guys in all of its spooky, booey detail. So uh, I will see you guys next time. And I will see you guys around. Bye.